today on my messy workbench, I'm going to show you one of the things that I get asked about in my videos now and then, and that is how do I make my wind flags? They are 100% recycled stuff from around the house, and so, sorry Jasmine, I don't need help with this one. What I do is I take a old plastic bottle, um, happens to be what we happen to have on hand at the moment. I usually rinse them out. If this one is not currently rinsed out, you'll want to do that. Otherwise, you'll probably pull in ants or other bugs. Take the label off. Then, a cordless drill. You want the top on, take your cordless drill and drill a pilot hole. And the reason you drill a pilot hole, or at least I do, is it reduces the bit's tendency to move. And so you want to be as close to the very center of that as you can possibly be. Put a little pressure on. I'm not as steady as when I was 20. Up just enough so that you can think you can catch the next drill bit in if possible see if you can get as close to the center of that as you can and the top becomes a self-centering device to make sure that it doesn't tilt or wobble I then take a step drill because then I don't have to deal with it along the way and I take the step drill and just work my way all the way in to that process. Now I'm going to try and I typically try and use a garden stick, a plastic one because the plastic is slippery and it fits through this hole nicely. I don't want it to be too loose and I don't want it to be too heavy or too large. I want it to be able to stay fairly centered. And here we see it spins. There's very little. There's no need for a bearing, for example, or a pin or anything else because the plastic garden stake and the plastic top, as you can see, have very little friction. Now you need a flag on that. And for that, in my garage, I have some old tape that I use. I typically measure out 18 inches of it. Um, I happen to have an 18 inch here, so I'm going to just assume it's 18. And I do 18 that way they're all the same, not that it can't be 24 or 12, but 18 becomes consistent. Uh, and so the flags all kind of move the same with the same kind of wind. And so it's the weighting system, if you will. Then I cut a slight V on it. And that's just to control the tape that I'm going to apply. Then I use that very bottom edge of the bottle, right there where it gets big again, as my marker. And I take about one inch of duct tape, and I don't usually have to cut that, I can usually tear it, put it on the flag, and then Line that up with the bottom edge. And stick it on. And then I have my wind flag. 
Now let's go see how this looks outside. Isn't much of a wind today, so I don't know how much we'll pick up. I guess we'll find out. Oh, there's some breeze. Then you want to stick it in the ground as straight as you possibly can. That's leveled pretty good. You could get a level out if you really want to be precise, but I don't find that it takes that much effort to do. And you can see you don't want the tail to be too long or it'll be dragging in the grass and, catch and defeat the purpose of the wind flag. And you can see it rotates. And it rotates pretty freely. So again, there's no need for pins or other kind of devices, just... And that's how I make my wind flakes.